Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. I'm just going to give you some first impressions on these Pro Mag magazines I bought for my Marlin 795. And um first of all, I just want to say that uh really there haven't really been any good high capacity magazines for the 795 like the Ruger. Uh they don't have factory magazines. They um the only aftermarket magazines that there really were were these uh like Shooter Ridge, I think is what they're called. Um something like that. But uh they they were not that good at all, according to Nut and Fancy. But then of course you had your factory ten rounders and factory seven rounders. These are ten rounders. And I got these, well, one of them came with the gun, but uh, these two I got off of Midway USA, and when I got them, they were $16.99, so $17. And now, on Midway USA, they're $19.99, so they're $20, but I went on J&G sales, and they have them listed for um, twelve dollars and thirty cents a piece, which is quite a bit cheaper. So I ordered myself three more, and uh, they're still not in yet. But uh, I'll have six of these total when they come in. Uh, you can also get the seven rounders on J and G sales for uh, ten fifty a piece. So uh, I might get myself some of those too, but uh, I don't know. But these I got on Midway USA and they were fourteen twenty nine a piece. And fourteen twenty nine, well, that's cheaper than the factory ten rounder. And these are twenty five round magazine. Or uh you can actually fit like, I don't know, twenty seven or twenty eight according to other YouTube channels. I haven't tried that yet, I only put twenty five in so far. Um, and I haven't used them either. But, my first impressions are, if I can just grab the gun real quick. They do go into the gun pretty well. Um, sometimes you got to hit them a little, but uh, it seems like it's sad. And the last shot hold open works. Now, I've seen from several YouTube channels that the last shot hold open doesn't always work when you're actually shooting it. But then other YouTubers I've seen, they uh, it does. And so I'll have to wait till I test these out to see if they actually work. But they do seem to fit into the gun pretty well. Uh, no issues. So, um, we're all good in that part of it. Not quite as easy to get out as the, um, as the, uh, factory 10 rounders, but, uh, you'll have to get used to that. Of course, these are all plastic and with having plastic feed lips, the um, quality of of lasting a long time might be a little questionable. But I heard one YouTuber say that the feed lips actually don't touch the bolt when the gun is cycling; they just ride over it. So uh, if that's true, then the feed lips should stay in pretty good shape for a pretty long time, but uh, I don't know for sure. Um, well, let's see how easy they are to load. Let's grab a handful of these. These are federal, uh, just federal bulk ammunition. And this might be a little tricky, trying to get this all on camera. Just kind of around the camera here. Keep all the bullets from coming off the table. 
but you just push them in and feed them one at a time. Um, it's not that hard uh, until you get down to like the last five or so. That's three, four, five, six, and you just load them like this. And of course it takes a long time. But the advantage to this is if these work, then you can um, have a whole bunch of these loaded and uh, just have them ready to go and every time you run out of ammunition at the range, you just, uh, you just grab another magazine and put it in. And uh, you don't have to worry about reloading unless you want to shoot more than you have magazines reloaded for. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to load it all. Because that would take forever. And, you know, that took long enough. But, uh, they are pretty easy to take apart. Let me just get my little handy-dandy cobalt Allen wrench set. And you have two little buttons on the bottom of the floor plate. You just push one of those in, push, hold it down, and then you just pull the spring out, and then you have the follower right there, and then you have your magazine body which you can clean and reassembly is just the opposite of disassembly put the spring in with the follower going the right way of course and then you put your base plate thing in and just slide the base plate over the bottom of the magazine and that's how you take it apart so pretty easy to take apart and clean. Um, these I don't think you can take apart. You might. Uh, I haven't tried that. But anyway, that's uh, pretty much all I have to say. I'll do a function test video with this, with these magazines, and I'll also do a, a follow-up video after I've put so many rounds through each and uh, tell you if I recommend them or not which, um, honestly, with ProMag, I, with any other ProMag magazine so far, uh, I wouldn't recommend them just because they have all had really crappy reviews, um, for the most part, like the Ruger 1022 drum magazines, or the, uh, Ruger Mini 14 magazines, or the M1 carbine magazines, they all, they all pretty much had bad reviews for the most part. These, I got these because they, for the most part, had good reviews. And, you know, something has mostly good reviews. I think I'm going to try it. So, and uh, see if it works. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, I'll have a function test. I'll have a follow-up video to see to uh, tell you guys if I recommend them or not. Um, so far, before before even testing them, of course, I would recommend them because they're cheap. They're, uh, well, on Midway USA, they're cheaper than the actual factory 10-rounders, but uh, the 10-rounders are cheaper on J&G sales, but you can't buy these on J&G sales. So, based off of how much they cost, and how durable they appear. Uh, yeah, I'd say rec I'd recommend them. Um, they're easy to take apart, yeah. They're fairly easy to load for the most part. Um, yeah, so, so far I'd say I recommend them. Now, after testing them, I might change my mind, I might not. So, we'll see. But anyway, Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time.
be safe.